Tig, I think these are probably not of your time. No, nor yours. No, they're not of my time <laughs> either. So, you might ask, why would you happen to have what seems to be hundreds of Goosebump books? Because I had a kid. But so, in the course of, of, of you know, reading stuff to the youngin, we discovered Goosebumps, and it turns out that we, we both enjoyed them, he liked them, and so we got many, many Goosebumps and read many, many Goosebumps. Lots of Goosebumpin'. So are you familiar with Goosebumps at all? I am familiar with Goosebumps. So tell tell me what Goosebumps is. Goosebumps were like a Twilight Zone sort of feel to them. I don't want to say Stephen King, because I don't feel like they were... I mean, it's sort of like... horror for kids, but not like, yeah, not like scary horror. Right. It's like creepy kids horror. Like, oh, the slime under the stairs. Yeah, and, or the, the, the teacher no one believes is an alien kind of Yeah, thing. or like my parents have been taken over by sentient rats. All right, so let's start going through yeah, some Yeah, let's of look it. at them. So like, right, so we got Chicken Chicken, uh, The Beast from the East. So these are, and these were all written by one author, right? Allegedly, Stein. yes, R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein. Allegedly. Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. You're not R.L. Stein. I am. <laughs> I see these, this, these I remember, this was a whole series, so there's Monster Blood 3. And Monster Blood. It's obviously, it's a, this is it. It's the slime that never dies. And Monster Blood is some sort of slime that, I guess, infects you or kills you. So basically, it's the blob. Okay. But for, for, for kids. Look, there's there's actually cards in this one. Ooh. Oh, and this one, oh, see, I remember the, this little branch off. Reader beware, you choose the scare. It's basically choose your own adventure, but Goosebumps. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right here, I have live. I live in your basement, which I like the cover actually. Yeah, I, the the like the art is cool. The the covers are usually pretty fun of these. Here's another one of those. Uh, you choose the scare, reader beware. You choose the scare. Attack of the mutant. This one I re this this one I remember reading to him. Uh, Skipper Matthews has an awesome comic book collection. His favorite one is called The Masked Mutant. It's about an evil supervillain who's out to rule the universe. Skipper can't get enough of the mutant until one day he gets lost in a strange part of town and finds a building that looks exactly like the mutant's secret headquarters. A building that appears and disappears. Has Skipper read one too many comic books? Or does the masked mutant really live in Riverview Falls? <laughs> Here's a, a How to Kill a Monster. I remember this one being fun and entertaining. Now, the thing about the Goosebumps books, which was always enjoyable, and we'll just show as you go through, is that the, they're made to be read out loud. Oh, really? They're great. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, and kids can read no, it. No, well. but, but yeah. Good Monster Blood, too. Yeah, like, they read out loud really well. Say cheese and die. Again. <laughs> Again. Again. It must be, I guess there must be another Say Cheese and Die. King See, now look at this. This is a classic. Look. Yeah, that's a, that's I like I like that style art too. Stay out of the basement. I mean, what more do you need to to know? Oh, look at that. Live plants, dead people. This one oh, is. Oh no! I'll show that one. I was say night of the, it's cool. Night of the Living Dummy three, but this is the one I actually I remember the that dummy. Oh wait a minute. See this Night of the Living Dummies. This is about dummies. I can't see anything in this thing. Huh. All right, we'll get back to you later. So this, look at this again. You want to talk about classic horror trope? Look That's at this. cool. Yeah, yeah look yeah, at yeah. that. That look, that is awesome, scary kid stuff. The big hand coming up over the bed and stuff. Like, that's creepy. If you're a kid, that's probably like yeah, just, just the creepy. Art is and a doubles of that one. The too. blob that ate everyone. Which you know. Did your son watch the TV show? No. Do you remember when the show? You remember the intro and. I really remember the intro to the show. I don't. I don't think so. You know, you know? Ghost of Fear Street. This must be a side series. I don't know what this is. See, look, it says, this says, watch Goosebumps on Fox Kids now. Oh, yeah. All right. Welcome to the Dead House. I remember that one. Monster Blood 4. We, we, we don't even have, like, a, a fraction of the full Goosebumps collection of all the ones that are out there. Oh, that. Come on. Look at that. Uh, Where'd you come from? I couldn't do it anymore. Boy, I feel like that's ruined the whole thing. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, Get sorry. back in there. Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. I mean, you got to, uh, look. 
You gotta love something with mom gnomes being evil. Uh, do you have ones that you remember how, that your son always wanted you to read? We, or ones that were your favorite? We did not repeat books. Really? If I if, if I read something that he really enjoyed, then he would just read it on his own. Afterwards. Okay. And if he ever really liked something... He would read it himself. Yeah, afterwards. and I would just give him a book. Like, you know, after after practically anything that I read to him. Like Lord of the Rings, I read, you know, read, I read all of Lord of the Rings to Jeez. him. Out loud. And then he enjoyed it, and I was like, okay, here's the book. See, I don't know what the, what, what this is. These are pretty cool looking, I actually. I don't know what they're in there for. And there's an Atomorphs got in there somehow. Yeah, I saw that. You probably accidentally took that from the box because you don't pay attention to what... Well, like you know. Like. They're charming little books. I'm not saying that they're the kind of charming books that you'd read as an adult, but... But, uh, yeah. So, okay, um, huh.